Okay, good day guys. Good, good on. Let me take off the mask. Forget to take off the mask. Good day guys. Good day to you. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thank you for being here. The support as always is much appreciated. Gentle reminder as always. Knock up like button, subscribe and share. My start the, the video and forget to say I still have on the mask. Um, Formula Sports coming to you today from an undisclosed location as as Mannings, my 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 friend Mannings would like to say. See, um, I came across two interesting articles re the Reggae Girls, and I thought that I would you know do a quick video involving both. Um, the headline in the Jamaica Gleaner reads Donaldson. JFF close to agreement and contract. Right now, when I saw this, I jump in because you know this is indeed a, a major, major development. It is done by a Daniel Wheeler from the Jamaica Gleaner. You know, we like to give credit where it is due. All right, we're going into the article now. Seeing with the national senior women's team, and it's on a screen, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. With the national scheduled to play on home soil in November for the first time in seven months, the contracts for the for national interim head coach Lauren Donaldson and his staff are, according to him, all but complete. Interesting stuff. The Jamaica Football Federation (JFF) announced that the reggae girls are booked to play Paraguay in a two-game international series in November, the final window of the year as they continue their preparations for next summer's FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand, right? So, you know, I'm sure many of you would have known of those two friendlies right now. Something similar to what would have taken place against South Korea right some time ago with the reggae girls. Donaldson was brought in on a short-term deal for their successful CONCACAF Women's Championship campaign has been in negotiations for a contract to be extended for him to take charge of the team for next year's tournament. You know, for me personally, look, I will give Donaldson his props. I'm not the biggest fan of Donaldson. I don't think he's the best person to take this team to the World Cup, you know. Uh, and I'm not his biggest fan, right? But to be fair to him, to be fair to Donaldson, he did earn the right to take this team to the World Cup, right? He qualified them to the World Cup. You've seen? To be fair to him. Um, negotiations were expected to be completed after their recent international friendlies against South Korea last month, but no Donaldson said that finalizing the deal for him and his staff would be completed shortly as he looks to take advantage of the next two windows to continue evaluating his team. This is Donaldson being quoted again. It looks like everything is going well with it referring to the contract, and it looks like it should be wrapped up at any minute. So I don't think that is a word for us right now. Donaldson told the Gleaner, I would give it a few more days and then everything should be finalized. But we are not too worried about it because it looks like everything has been dealt with. Interesting. Now, this is JFF President Michael Ricketts. Speaking on the matter, JFF President Michael Ricketts said that the negotiations with Donaldson have not encountered any pitfalls, pitfalls rather, and is confident that the matter can be put to rest for the full focus to be on the tournament. And 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 you know the JFF look like them them are try to you know sort out them affairs quick and fast in terms of you know, outstanding, major outstanding issues that they have to deal with. They seem to be dealing with it or trying to deal with it in a rather efficient manner. He is always somebody that is easy to have discussions with, so negotiations weren't difficult, to be honest. And we 
have virtually concluded. So Mr. Ricketts is saying that the discussions are virtually concluded and now we are just waiting to formalize the process. Interesting. Ricketts said, we have a gentleman's agreement that they are comfortable with the contents of the contract and it is just for them to formalize the process and so we should be good to go. I mean, you know, especially when it comes to contracts being signed, you, know, you, can't, you have to wait until it's over the line before, you know, you, you blow the trumpet, so to speak. Jamaica will play their first game against Paraguay at the Montego Bay Sports Complex in Catherine Hall, Montego Bay on November the 10th before concluding the series in Kingston at the National Stadium on November the 13th, right? Citing the November and February windows as critical in the construction of their group for the tournament, Donaldson said that he wants to make sure that they keep the continuity as well as not leave the young players out. So we just want to make sure that we are bringing in some players and we are trying to keep the core together and put in some players that we are looking at and bringing a few youngsters in just to have a look. Jamaica will know their first round of opponents when the World Cup draw takes place on October the 22nd. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a big date, you know. Write it down in your, in your diary, you know, ladies and gentlemen, or whatever you used to, to, you know, jot down dates, jot down at October the 22nd, because that is indeed a very, very big day in Jamaica's history. Me personally, I hope and pray to God, I hope and pray to Father God so we can get an easy group, you know. The last time I would have seen the reggae girls get drawn in a group in a man trust me man it wasn't it was a very painful experience seeing luckily the girls were able to dig deep and pull through another article for you guys quickly paraguay friendlies to boost girls preparation ahead of world cup and this is lauren donaldson speaking on the upcoming friendlies she and this is the observer and this is done by a Sheridan Cohen. Seen, having opted to use the October match window to allow players to rest and reset. That is interesting. By the way, the article is on your screen to follow. Jamaica's senior reggae girls head coach, Lauren Donaldson, says the two friendlies against Paraguay next month represent the first steps toward intensifying preparations for the FIFA World Cup. Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand next year. So Lauren Donaldson is saying that, you know, the October match window was del was deliberately not used. Some vloggers, including myself, was swinging the, the belt a little bit in a way. I say, how comes, we're saying how comes, we're saying how comes, you know, big international match window and the regular girls don't have any games to play. You know, I remember even Crystal was saying that, you know, we are, we will, our preparation process for the tournament would be falling behind. Donaldson speaking with the Jamaica Observer. And, and by the way, what do you think? Hit me in the comment section and let me know what you think about that. Do you think that's a wise thing? You know, other teams are playing friendlies getting more games under their belt to prepare for the World Cup and we go into the World Cup and we have less games than our competitors. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know. Donaldson speaking with the Jamaica Observer hinted at the possibility of the fixtures for the November 17 to 15 window but was unable to confirm the details as they were yet to finalise with the South Americans. No, with things all locked in, they tacked <laughs> the tactician, I don't know if I would refer to Lauren Donaldson as a tactician, you know. I don't see him as a tactician. Anyways, now with things are locked in, the tactician is eager to have his 42nd ranked team 
test their skills against the 51st ranked Paraguay during a camp which will mark the first international window after the official draw schedule for later this month. The Jamaica Football Federation on Monday announced the games for the November 10 and 13. Okay, we know that already. Every game we play has meaning, but these games are more important because it not only gives fans another opportunity to see the girls at home, and that's true. You know, we get to, if it's even a couple of months before the tournament, we get to, you know, at the very least, it could possibly be a send-off to the World Cup, right? But they are also the first steps towards upping our tempo for the World Cup. So these are our first steps when, you know, other teams that we'll be competing against in the tournament have already taken their first steps. Seen? Donaldson said shortly after finalizing contractual agreements with the local governing body, Though Paraguay came away 3-1 winners when the teams last met at the 2019 Pan American Games in Peru, Donaldson believes both teams would have improved significantly since then, which should make for another interesting contest as he continues to assess players for his final squad for the global showpiece. On the other hand, the fixtures also provide an opportunity for Paraguay who finish fourth. Oh, so they'll be going to the playoffs. That's what that paragraph is referring to. You know, so they are using these fixtures to warm up for the playoffs to the World Cup. We know that in our World Cup, there are different variations of tiers and styles. And so we wanted to again test ourselves against these South Americans because we Still don't know what the draw will deal us. Hopefully, we, you know, we get a good deal in the draw. So they are perfect, are a perfect fit at this stage, given what both of us want to achieve, Donald said. All those teams have improved and their style has improved. So just like us, we have to look at them, see what they bring to the table, so that after the draw, we can go back and have a preference to watch who they play and see how we match up against them. If we draw one of those South American teams, he added. You know what's so crazy though, people? People, This is a, 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 a general rule of thumb, so to speak, that people want to play if they, for instance, draw a team in CONCACAF in their group in the World Cup, they want to play an, uh, another team in CONCACAF to get an idea of how CONCACAF football is played. To be fair, though, in, in, even in the same confederation, you can have multiple different playing styles. So, you know, just if you get a friendly with a, a, a team, and uh, you know, using it as a preparation for a game in your World Cup um, group, you're not necessarily going to see the same thing from the two teams in, in both confederations. See? To signal his intention, so it's, it's, this theory has always been a very interesting one to me. To signal his intentions about ensuring their preparations, it's a new gear, Donaldson, who is assisted by Xavier Gilbert and Ak Lakani, also hinted at the possibility of a December camp to possibly cap the year on a high. We all know we have to be at the top of our game to win at the highest levels and the dedication of the entire group to that pursuit will never change, he said. So that December camp is a possibility but will be dependent on the availability of players. We are going to look at the logistics and if it is possible then we will push for it because a camp would be good in those times. A camp would be excellent in those times. <laughs> we need all the opportunities we can get for this team to be together and bond, you know, even if they're not playing any matches, man, just being together. We just have to see exactly what the players need and we work from that. I am sure some of the NWSL National Women's Soccer League players and some of the College players who are done with their commitments would relish a camp 
but the European based players are a little bit different. So we would have to look at it to see how many players we can get in, even if it is a small camp Donaldson declared. Right. So that's basically the 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 latest developments and also plans surrounding the reggae girls. Hopefully the Paraguay fixtures go better than the South Korea fixtures. I watched the first game of the South Korea series and boy oh boy I was not impressed at all. You know, hopefully the girls can step it up and hopefully Lauren Donaldson can step things up and improve in the series against Paraguay. So as always we are wishing or reggae girls are the best. It is on home soil, so we definitely want the reggae girls to get a good result in that particular series. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think. Again, the formula sports coming from an undisclosed location. See you. Knock up like button, subscribe and share. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.